My name is Erock, and I am from Burnsville, Minnesota, originally. I mean, it really all depends on who I'm introducing myself into. Uh, introducing myself to, like, if I'm just if I'm not at like a show or something like that, I'll introduce myself as my real name. But you know, if I'm at a show, I'll be like, "Hey, what's up, man? I'm Erock. I'm performing tonight." Uh, you'd actually added me on Facebook randomly one time and I accepted it and then I had posted something saying I was looking for a show down in Rochester and you kind of just was like hey man work with us and I'm like all right here we go let's go (laughs) so that's kind of how I got connected with you guys my last meal I'd probably go all out like uh get, get like a whole buffet of different things like I'd probably get some crab some 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 uh some steak i'd I'd, ha- I'd get fancy with it you know what we're gonna go all out um red lobster you know i i wasn't really too artistic as a kid uh you know I, i'm still really bad at like drawing and stuff like that uh but i'd say the coolest thing that i did i mean it wasn't really when i was a kid but i was like 16 no no because i was a sophomore in high school and uh, I beat out a lead or I beat out a senior for the lead in the, in the, in the winter play. So I got the lead in the winter play as a sophomore. So if Von Sage never made it as an artist, I would not be here because Von Sage is my mentor. He's the one that taught me how to do this. We met in college and, uh, we really hit it off and, you know, he brought me out to one of his shows and I got on stage with him because that's the only way I because I was underage at the time. That was the only way I could get in the venue was if I got on stage with him. So I got on his on stage with him as his quote unquote hype man. Um, and so, and then after that, I was like, well, shit. I kind of it took it took a little bit. I, uh, but like I said, he's my mentor, and he kind of taught me how to do everything. But then as I as I grew on, uh. I got some of my biggest influences were Lil Peep and XXX Tentacion. So when I got, uh, I don't really get stage fright anymore, but when I first started out, I definitely did. Cause I would never performed my own stuff in, in front of anybody before, let alone written my own stuff. Um, but I just got up there and did it. That was my biggest way of overcoming. It was just getting up there and doing it. I like to mix genres. So with a lot of my music, especially nowadays, I mixed a lot of like hip hop and rock and metal stuff. So like you'll hear me doing a bunch of like screamo uh, on my on a lot of my songs, and like on and then I'll include like some rock beats and stuff too. So like I like to do a mix of different genres. If I made a song in sixty minutes. So I have a whole hour to make a song. Uh, it would be garbage because it would not even be finished. It takes me forever to write. That is one of my biggest flaws, I think. Because I like to put my heart into my songs, and I like to write about things that have happened in my life and things that are going on in my current you know, state of mind. Honestly, it depends on the song. Sometimes it, so the quickest time I've ever written a song is 45 minutes. Um, but the longest has been like at least a year to finish a song because it like it just i have to find the right words otherwise i'm not gonna like it i'd like to think i'm still doing music but you know never know where life's gonna take me you know i do actually currently have a son so i'll hopefully you know have a good relationship with him um but you know i'd like to have at least one more kid and you know just be stable in my life definitely not minnesota i'm sorry as much as I, as much as I know people don't want to hear that, I want to go somewhere warm. I'd probably want to get down. I really want to get down to like Arizona. You know what? I could handle the scorpions. If I don't have to deal with the blistering cold of Minnesota and deal with, and I only have to deal with potentially deadly arachnoid type creatures, I'm good. Depression for sure. Um, I, it's, it's a, I mean, it's a blessing and a curse in a way. Cause it helps me, you know, and inspires a lot of my songs, because I, I, like I said earlier, I write, I write about, you know, what goes on in my life and my current state of mind. And a lot of my songs are about my struggles with depression. And so I, it's still an ongoing thing. And, you know, and I feel like until I'm a little more stable in life, it's probably going to keep being a thing. So dead little peep, obviously, um, 
And uh, as for a live, I really kind of want to pull a Post Malone and go with Ozzy Osbourne. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say maybe that I was Kurt Cobain, even though I would think I was, well, no, wait, when did Kurt Cobain die? Because I, I, was, I was born in 97. Was he still alive then? No, he died in the 90s because Nirvana didn't make it big till the 90s. Just, just because of like the way that I I live, you know, and just I don't know. I feel like I deal I dealt with a lot of some of the same things that he does. You know, a starving artist, so to speak, and probably my bedroom. Ah, uh, it's just uh, comfy, cozy. It's you know not a lot. You know, I like to just kind of sit and zone out when I write and. You know, I think I feel like you know, I have the TV on in the background just for some, you know, white noise, so to speak. And I'll, I'll put my headphones on and listen to a beat and sit there and write. My album is dropping March 26th, or by the time you see this, it'll have already dropped. Um, so March 26th of 2022, my, out, my, my second project, Into the Shadows, is dropping. And... Um, so I'm really excited for that. But then as far as the future goes, uh, I'm kind of taking a step back from my personal artist and I'm going to focus more on my group ice Kings going to try to do some more stuff with them. And then I'm also, uh, in a cover band now called for your entertainment and trying to get some more gigs with them going. I'm very musical. What can I say? Uh, shout out to Von Sage, obviously, and Mookie, the magician, for really getting me off the ground and helping me. I mean, Wookie the Magician put me on my first show, so really, really big shout-out to him. And obviously to Von Sage for, you know, basically being my mentor. And, you know, and shout-out to Nick Gibbs, whose shirt I'm wearing, all the way down in Wichita. Shout-out to you. Um, oh, I do have a, a show in June. June 25th is my birthday bash at the Terminal Bar in Minneapolis. So come out to that. 